there are quite a number of hazards which visually impaired people face every day on Britain's roads. The biggest risk in any environment where you're interacting with traffic is going to be cars. Cars have made noises for years and people have been taught to use those noises to help them in day-to-day -day life. Taking those engines away, that takes a massive amount of independence and confidence away from visually impaired people. When you take the traditional combustion engine out of the car, that is the dominant noise source up to a, somewhere between 20 and 30 kph. Once you take that noise source away, the cars become harder to, to hear coming. That can be difficult for anyone. It's not just the visually impaired people. Jaguar's acoustic vehicle alert system is designed to fit in with regulation that's upcoming throughout the globe. Our system basically infills the noise at low speeds that's missing when you replace the combustion engine with a, an electric motor. We're going to give more acoustic information to, uh, to pedestrians and road users. We've designed our sound to truly reflect the character and the styling of the iPace, but at the same time be really useful as an acoustic cue that people can recognise that there is a car around them. It's not just a flat sound, obviously the car moves, it accelerates, it, it decelerates, it starts, it stops, and the sound must reflect that behaviour. The background of this is, is we do probably an awful lot more listening than we do looking. We do, certainly do an awful lot more listening than we realise, and there's a lot of sound is processed at a subconscious level. I think the measures that Jaguar Land Rover has taken in, in introducing Avis, the acoustic vehicle alerting system, a year ahead of its mandatory requirement in 2019 is fantastic. It's really important to have sound to help everyone recognise that there is a danger. It's not just those people with visual impairments. 